Here is Nucida's weekly forecast for the expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels in week 31 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their potential for engagement on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So, what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Shift Left Testing Rationale for Ranking Shift Left Testing, which emphasizes integrating testing early in the development life cycle, ranks at number 10 due to consistent mentions in blogs and tech discussions as a foundational practice for improving software quality. While not the flashiest topic, it's a steady undercurrent in 2025, driven by the need for faster delivery cycles and cost efficiency. Recent posts on social media highlight its adoption in DevOps pipelines, but it's less hyped than newer technologies such as AI-driven testing, placing it lower on the list. My advice? To leverage shift-left testing effectively, integrate automated unit and integration tests into your CI-CD pipeline from the project's outset. Encourage developers to write test cases alongside code using tools like Junit or TestNG, and foster collaboration between developers and QA teams through pair programming or early code reviews. This reduces defects downstream and accelerates delivery, but ensure your team is trained in writing meaningful tests to avoid superficial coverage. My forecast for 2025-2026. Shift left testing will remain relevant, but evolve with AI-assisted test generation where tools automatically create test cases during the coding process. By 2026, expect frameworks like GitHub Copilot to integrate shift-left principles natively, predicting defects in real-time during development. 9. Test Automation Frameworks Rationale for Ranking Test automation frameworks like Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright are frequently discussed in blogs and on social media for their role in scaling software quality efforts. They rank at nine because while critical, they're a mature topic with steady rather than explosive interest. Recent articles emphasize their integration with CI-CD tools, but they're overshadowed by more cutting edge topics like AI and cloud testing. My advice, choose a test automation framework that aligns with your tech stack and team expertise. Ask UI for any kind of devices, Selenium for web apps, Cypress for modern JavaScript apps, or Playwright for cross-browser testing. Invest in modular, reusable test scripts to reduce maintenance overhead. Regularly review test coverage metrics and prioritize automating high-risk areas to maximize ROI, but avoid over-automation, which can lead to brittle tests. My forecast for 2025-2026, automation frameworks will increasingly incorporate AI to self-heal tests that break due to UI changes. By 2026, expect frameworks to offer low-code options, making test automation accessible to non-technical QA teams with tools like Testum gaining traction. 8. Performance Testing in Microservices Rationale for Ranking Performance testing for microservices is gaining traction in 2025 as companies increasingly adopt distributed architectures. It ranks at 8 due to niche but growing discussions on social media about tools like JMeter and Gatling for testing microservices scalability and latency. Blogs highlight challenges in isolating performance issues in complex systems, but this topic is less broad than others like security testing, placing it mid-tier. My advice? Implement performance testing early for microservices using tools like JMeter or Locust to simulate real-world traffic. Focus on end-to-end -end scenarios and inter-service communication bottlenecks. Use distributed tracing tools like Jaeger to pinpoint latency issues. Regularly monitor production metrics to inform test scenarios, ensuring your microservices can handle peak loads without compromising user experience. 
My forecast for 2025-2026, performance testing will integrate with observability platforms, with tools like Prometheus and Grafana embedding predictive analytics to anticipate performance degradation. By 2026, serverless architectures will drive demand for specialized performance testing tools tailored to ephemeral environments. 7. Accessibility Testing Rationale for Ranking Accessibility testing is a growing topic due to increasing regulatory requirements, e.g. WCAG compliance, and social media advocacy for inclusive software. It ranks at 7 because, while important, it's less discussed than security or AI topics on social media and in blogs. Recent posts emphasize tools like Axe and Wave, reflecting steady interests driven by ethical and legal imperatives. My advice, embed accessibility testing into your QA process using automated tools like Axe for initial scans, followed by manual testing with screen readers like NVDA, train developers on WCAG guidelines and involve users with disabilities in beta testing to ensure real-world usability. Prioritize high-impact issues like keyboard navigation and color contrast to make your software inclusive without overwhelming your team. My forecast for 2025-2026. Accessibility testing will see AI-driven advancements with tools automatically suggesting fixes for non-compliant UI elements. By 2026, expect stricter global regulations, increasing demand for accessibility-focused testing platforms and certifications. 6. Chaos Engineering for Software Resilience Rationale for Ranking Chaos engineering, the practice of intentionally injecting failures to test system resilience, is trending on social media and in tech blogs due to its adoption in cloud-native environments. It ranks at 6 because it's a specialized but growing field, with tools like Chaos Monkey and Gremlin gaining attention. Its relevance is high but limited to organizations with mature DevOps practices, keeping it mid-tier. My advice? Start with controlled chaos experiments in non-production environments using tools like Chaos Monkey. Define clear hypotheses, e.g., what happens if a service goes down, and monitor outcomes with observability tools. Gradually increase experiment complexity but ensure robust monitoring and rollback mechanisms to avoid unintended outages. This builds confidence in your system's resilience. My forecast for 2025-2026, chaos engineering will expand into AI-driven systems, testing how models handle unexpected inputs or resource constraints. By 2026, expect chaos testing to become standard in CI-CD pipelines, with platforms offering pre-built failure scenarios for common architectures. 5. Continuous testing in CI-CD pipelines. Rationale for ranking, continuous testing, integrating automated tests into CI-CD pipelines is a hot topic due to the rise of DevOps and rapid release cycles. It ranks at 5 because of frequent mentions in blogs and social media posts about tools like Jenkins and GitLab for seamless testing. Its broad applicability across industries gives it a strong position, though it's less novel than AI-driven topics. My advice? Embed continuous testing in your CI-CD pipeline using tools like Jenkins or CircleCI, ensuring tests run at every commit. Prioritize fast, reliable tests, unit, and integration to avoid pipeline bottlenecks, and use parallel execution to reduce runtime. Regularly review test results to catch flaky tests early maintaining trust in your pipeline's quality gates. My forecast for 2025-2026. Continuous testing will integrate with AI to prioritize test execution based on code changes, reducing redundant runs. By 2026, expect serverless CI-CD platforms to streamline testing for ephemeral environments with tools like GitHub Actions leading the charge. Four. Security Testing for Zero Trust Architectures Rationale for Ranking Security testing, particularly for zero trust architectures, is a top concern due to rising cyber threats. It ranks at 4 because of significant social media discussions and blog posts about tools like OWASP, Zap, and Burp Suite, driven by high-profile breaches and regulatory pressures. Its critical importance is tempered by competition from flashier AI topics. My advice? 
adopts security testing tools like OWASP, Zappi for automated vulnerability scans and integrate them into your CI-CD pipeline. Conduct regular penetration testing and adopt zero trust principles, verifying every request regardless of origin. Train your team on secure coding practices to reduce vulnerabilities early and stay updated on emerging threats via platforms like CVE. My forecast for 2025-2026. Security testing will leverage AI to predict vulnerabilities based on code patterns with tools like SNCC integrating machine learning. By 2026, zero trust testing will become mandatory in regulated industries with automated compliance checks embedded in development workflows. Three, low code, no code testing platforms Rationale for ranking. Low-code, no-code testing platforms are surging in popularity, driven by the democratization of software development. They rank at three due to buzz on social media and blogs about platforms like AskUI, Testum, and Mabel, which enable non-technical users to contribute to QA. Their accessibility and scalability make them a hot topic, though they're less critical than AI or security. My advice, Adopt low-code platforms like AskUI or Mabel for rapid test creation, especially for teams with limited coding expertise. Focus on user-friendly interfaces to empower business analysts and QA teams to build tests. Ensure these platforms integrate with your existing tools, e.g. Jira, and validate their AI-driven features for reliability to avoid false positives in test results. My forecast for 2025-2026. Low-code, no-code testing will dominate in small to medium enterprises with platforms offering AI-driven test maintenance. By 2026, expect integrations with generative AI to create end-to-end -end test suites from natural language requirements, reducing QA barriers further. Two, AI-driven test automation rationale for ranking. AI-driven test automation is a dominant topic ranking at two due to its transformative impact on software quality. Social media posts and blogs frequently highlight tools like AskUI, Test.ai, and Functionize, which use AI to generate and maintain tests dynamically. Its high ranking reflects widespread adoption and excitement, though it's edged out by broader AI quality trends. My advice? Integrate AI-driven testing tools like Test.ai to automate test case generation and maintenance reducing manual effort. Focus on training AI models with representative data to ensure accurate test coverage. Regularly audit AI-generated tests for false positives and complement them with manual testing for critical features to maintain quality standards. My forecast for 2025-2026, AI-driven testing will evolve to include predictive defect analysis, identifying potential issues before code is written by 2026, Expect AI to dominate end-to-end -end testing with tools autonomously optimizing test suites based on user behavior and application telemetry. One, generative AI for software quality assurance rationale for ranking. Generative AI tops the list due to its explosive growth and transformative potential in software quality. Social media discussions and blogs emphasize its use in generating test cases, simulating user scenarios, and predicting defects, with tools like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot leading the charge. Its ranking reflects high engagement and industry-wide adoption, driven by efficiency gains and innovation. My advice, leverage generative AI tools like GitHub Copilot to create test scripts and mock data for complex scenarios. Train your team to craft precise prompts to maximize AI output quality and validate generated artifacts against real-world requirements, Combine generative AI with human oversight to ensure edge cases are covered, avoiding over-reliance on automated outputs. My forecast for 2025-2026, generative AI will become central to QA with tools generating entire test strategies from requirements documents. By 2026, expect AI to simulate real-world user environments at scale, enabling hyper-realistic testing and reducing production defects significantly. Overall forecast for 2025 and 2026. Looking ahead, software quality will be shaped by deeper AI integration, with generative AI and predictive analytics dominating testing workflows. 
Quantum computing will emerge as a niche but growing topic, with early tools testing quantum algorithms for reliability. Sustainability and software quality, focusing on energy-efficient code and testing, will gain traction due to environmental regulations. Privacy-focused testing, driven by data protection laws, will also rise, with tools ensuring compliance with GDPR and CCPA. Finally, augmented reality, AR, and virtual reality, VR testing, will grow as immersive applications expand, requiring new frameworks for spatial and interactive quality assurance. These trends will build on current topics, emphasizing automation, compliance, and innovation in QA practices. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.